pregnant lady's gotta hydrate. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to Jerissa Explains, I'm Marissa. And I'm Jamie. And today we have another Mandela Effect video. It's been a while since we've done one of these and so we're gonna be testing Mandela Effects on Jamie. We're only gonna do four today, but if you don't know what the Mandela Effect is, we're gonna link a playlist up above of all of our Mandela Effect videos and in some of those videos we explained further what the Mandela Effect is. So come along with us ladies and gentlemen, per usual, I'm the guinea pig and so are you and let's see what parts of our reality are not working anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've got some handy dandy notes here that I'm going to be using. So the first Mandela effect that we're going to talk about has to do with the game Uno, the card game. Of course, Uno. Classic. So this all happened about a year ago. There was a big Twitter war happening because Uno started tweeting that like the way that most of us play the game isn't actually how you're supposed to play the game. I thought you'd either match the number or you match the colors on the game, but... And then what do you do? Say you don't have the card that you need. Okay, yeah, say so you don't have the color or the number. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so then what would you do? Well, if you got one of the colored cards, you can change the color or you keep drawing until you get the right one that you want. And otherwise you have to keep drawing and add into your pile of cards that you have. Yeah, so that's what I would say too. And yeah. that's what most people would say. Turns out that's not how you, <laughs> turns out that's not how you play the game. <laughs> I figured this is where that was going. There was actually an article that came out um, that recapped all of this. So I'll try to find that and link it down below. But the first Uno rule you're probably playing wrong, you do not need to pull a card until you have a color that matches the discard pile. If you don't have a card to play, you only have to pick up one card. That doesn't make any sense. So people went crazy. I mean, they were like, you know, stop with your lies. This is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> telling, uh, the, telling people, telling the manufacturer of the game, you all don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, basically. Somebody said, so you're telling me I had to draw 30 cards for nothing? And then <laughs> Uno just replied with like crying laughing faces. I, I, I think this is more or less us as a society not properly reading the directions of the yeah. game and just going by what hearsay be like we know how to play this game it looks like it's pretty <laughs> simple and you always have that one friend that says and claims that they've played the game a million times and that they've been playing it since they were younger and so you just kind of go along with it the first time you play but every friend was playing it wrong like here's the thing it seems like the game would go much quicker if you just drew one card like, that doesn't make any sense to me. And then people were like, oh, I blame the Mandela Effect for this. Because then there was other rules that like, they were saying, like the stacking cards, draw two and draw two. Yeah. That's not a thing. Oh, so you can't compound? So no. like, say you draw two and then you're, you're, you go, oh, draw two. And then your buddy's like, draw four. And then your next buddy's like, draw six. Well, that's Somebody just... said, I blame the Mandela effect because they said, because Uno tweeted and said, the person who is supposed to draw two cannot put down a draw four. And then somebody said, you all don't know your own game, delete this. So what way are they just trying to say? They're like, hey, oh, you got draw two. And then you're like, all right. And then you have to draw two and then, but you have a draw two. So then you can slam it down another draw two on your next person. I mean, that would make more sense to me, but then. Uh, so but it just <laughs> seems so stagnant. Because then people were saying like, what about a plus four on a plus four? And I was like, no. So if they're saying these rules are wrong, I think just the people at home and the, the consumer that's playing the game is making the game better than what they originally made the game, in my opinion. Why is that not the rules? Yeah, so could this I mean, be an, a Mandela effect or is it just that we're all playing the game wrong? I mean... I think we're all playing the game wrong because I'd say personally me, I must in my lifetime have taught like either three or four people how to play the game. And I know that but I gave why, my rules, why? and that is apparently the wrong way. But why is everyone playing by the same wrong rules? That's what doesn't make any sense. Why would every person be like, oh no, this is how you play it. You keep drawing until you get a card. Because nobody can... likes to read the directions. Why would every friend around the world say, you know, this is how you play it? Where would they get that? That is odd. Yeah, so that's what doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let us know how you all play Uno in the comments down below. I love Uno, the people who make Uno, but I need, I like my version much better. <laughs> okay. So the next Mandela effect we're going to talk about has to do with the song I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Okay. It's, it has to do with the lyrics. It's the first lyric of the song. 
saw him standing there by the record machine or saw him dancing there by the record machine. I want to say standing there by the record machine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what I remember. Yeah. And that's wrong. <laughs> No, it's always been dancing, right? Dancing! That's weird, right? I mean, you know that song very well. Yeah, I know the song, but like, it's like one of those classic songs that you just, oh, you just heard so many times in your life, you really don't think of the, all the lyrics all the way through. At least for me, I'm just sitting there waiting for the, I love rock and roll. Like to kick I know, in. but it's the very first lyric, and I just feel like it's so but she, known that it's like standing, but it's like not. And you know the I love rock and roll is coming, so you're just kind of waiting on that, so you're lazily listening through that part, mm -hmm. so I guess they can get lost in it. I'm just trying to make a point for it. That's weird. You're I just thought trying it was to debunk it any way you can, yeah. but I don't know if there's any debunking it. Britney Spears did a cover of this song, so I thought, okay, maybe her version said standing, and maybe that's where we're getting it. No, I listened to hers, and hers also says dancing. Okay, that is a weird one though, because it just it always it always just felt like you were building up to rock and roll. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I love rock and roll, so you're like, okay, he's standing there, he's chilling, and she's getting ready yeah. to play a song. That's what I would he's think. gonna play the song, and then, but you're like, but he's already, he's already dancing. dancing there. <laughs> yeah, he's already dancing. <laughs> And she's like, play my song. He's like, all right. What do you want? <laughs> now I love rock and roll. And now we're going to dance some more. Yes. Let us know what you all remember. It's an odd one. All right. The third Mandela effect that we're going to talk about is Tinkerbell in the intro of Disney movies. Do you remember the beginning when you're getting ready to sit down and watch a Disney movie as a child? Yeah. She would spin around and fly around before Disney and then she'd be like, bing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. And I've got several videos. No. Showing, I'll show no, you. No, 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 no. So, like, you know, it shows the blue castle. It's all blue. And it's like Walt Disney. And a lot of people remember her writing out Walt Disney yeah, and yeah. dotting the I. Yeah. And also, a lot of people, and what I remember is like, because when the castle shows up, then there's like that line that goes over the castle that she would fly and draw the line with her wand. I don't know about that part. I just remember writing. Okay, it. well. A lot of people have these memories of Tinkerbell being associated with that in some way or another. And I will show you some videos here where it, it's just, it's not there. She's nowhere in these. Well, what, did anybody check the intro to like Peter Pan, the Peter Pan movie? Maybe she, there was know. that particular movie. Well, and then some people were saying the DVD collection came with it, but I can't find one that's, that has her in it like the way that I remember and the way that people remember it. Was there was a video I, posted I that they say, <laughs> Is this the Tinker is this the Disney Tinkerbell intro that everyone remembers, but this one looks completely different. It's something that's like not that. what I remember, but that's what you remember. I get, uh, that's like really close and similar too. That's Bambi, ain't it? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's what the movie it looks like it is. That looks really, really familiar right there. Because that's all basically what I'm saying. Like she That's not what I remember. So I remember Maybe. her being a lot smaller and like flying up over it and doing the wand, the, the circle with her wand, and then doing the dink at the end. Uh, yeah, it's all it's all so long ago and lucid. Yeah. That could be it, just because of how your brain works. Yeah, like but before. I don't really... Everything I don't... crunches down over the years basically into cliff notes. 
but I agree I, with that but I didn't really watch Bambi either like I mean I might have saw Bambi like once or twice well the, me neither I didn't I was I didn't really I didn't, after you see her mom die I was like I don't know yeah I didn't like even watch it that much but like the the ones that I watched over and over again I mean I used to watch Little Mermaid like 20 times a day so <laughs> yeah that one's odd ladies and gentlemen let us know at home what you think and our last Mandela effect. Now this one is going to contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie Seven, that's how you say it? Ooh, yes. You haven't seen the movie seven. seven? Yes. Yeah. Seven with seven in the title. Yes. Yes. If you haven't seen that movie, then you might not want to watch this part. I've actually not seen this movie, but I already knew. I had happened. no idea of that, ladies and gentlemen. I will rectify that situation soon. I had no... You have never seen Seven? I already know what seven. happens. You have so, never seen Seven? No. At the end, what was in the box? When, when what? The, when Paltrow's when, head was in the box. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember seeing the head in the box, or was it just they just talked about it? You never saw the head in the box, no. Okay. Well, no. that's correct. Many people remember actually seeing the head and having nightmares about this. Somebody said they did see it. I saw the right side of her face in the box. Her face was aimed towards the right side of the screen from the viewer's perspective and was angled downward slightly. And then somebody else said, I guess we're from the same universe because that's exactly what they remembered. Somebody else said that's what they remember and they remember that the eyes were closed and would have nightmares that she opened them. So you don't have this memory? No, I remember, I don't then remember them ever getting to the box. I just remember it being very suspenseful uh, at that point. And it was one of those things that I always get. And it's funny that they bring this up that people out there actually remember seeing the face because I personally, from watching the movie, always liked the fact that it's like in uh, Pulp Fiction. I never saw what was in the one case. You never got to see what was in the box of don't, seven. Don't tell me anything about Pulp Fiction. You never seen Pulp Fiction? <laughs> Never seen Pulp Fiction? What is going on? Like we, after this, we're gonna have to sit down and have a talk, young lady, about classics that you have not seen. Back to what you were saying that you liked that they didn't show it because it left it to the imagination. Yes, I love the, so. I loved the suspense that they were building by how angry Brad Pitt was getting and how Morgan Freeman was trying to keep them from keep him from having wrath on Kevin Spacey. I feel yeah. like it would have been overdrawn if they showed me what her head actually looked like in there because I can probably imagine what a head looks like in a box. Also these um, answers that I was reading those were from Reddit and then another user had said something like maybe it's a confabulation that like you're you just imagined it so you thought you saw it. Yeah. That's what but I'm what's odd is that several people remember the same way. That's odd. Yeah. Right there. So then another thing I thought could be Brad Pitt, he's getting ready to have rage or whatever, and he sees his wife's face flash and then he has rage, right? Uh, yeah. And then so, so maybe he that, saw her face, but that wasn't the head in the box. He was just thinking of her. That's a good point. So maybe in that whole moment of watching like this stuff getting ready to go down from what you remember from what you originally saw it was him getting irate, see that image, then you're telling her that her head's in a box, and yeah. then you all taking that image that you just saw, and then imagining her head in that box. Yeah. You know. I mean, I could see how people would think that they saw it if they imagined it. It's just what doesn't make sense is that everybody, a lot of people have the same memory of it being exactly the same way. If you all saw the movie, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below and what you remember. Do you remember seeing that or not? Well, that brings us to the end of our Mandela Effect video for today. Like this video if you want to see more Mandela Effect videos. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching our videos, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.